What is up guys? So today we're gonna be working on the Honda again, but I want to give you a quick update on what's going on in my driveway. Currently have a U-Haul because the tenants are moving out of the house. So that's cool. We got the Mercedes awaiting a flatbed because it won't start. Um, it's a SI 600 V12 by turbo. It's a really fast car, has a lot of problems. It's all right. We got the limo. Can't find the keys to it. Um, selling that. And then the Audi had another tire blowout. Uh, just put rear brakes on it. That was fun. And then we got the van that needs front brakes and it needs a knock sensor, knock sensor number two. So my buddy's buying that one. So that one's just kind of sitting in the corner waiting for him to have some cash. So I can get rid of it, buy some car parts for this. Now what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna take this turbo back off and mount it the other direction. I have it on backwards right now currently. And while we're in there, we're going to pull out the AC pump because who needs AC? You got hot rolled on the window, drive faster. Um, it'll make more room for the downpipe, so we're gonna dive right into that. So here is AC pump. We're gonna pull this out so that we can drop the turbo back in and actually have the downpipe run that direction towards the driver's side of the car. Um, what's nice about these D16s is that the AC, power steering, and alternator all run off different belts. As you can see in there, it's a little dark, but. So when I take this off, I can cut the belt right off it and it won't affect the power steering or the alternator. So we're just gonna dive in on that now. What's up guys? So we're back, today's the next day. Um, phone rang yesterday, so I stopped recording for a little bit and my phone died. Long story short, Mercedes is still in the driveway. Tow truck driver couldn't get it. And we made some progress on the Honda. Um, we have full AC delete now. That's everything. Uh, I got the turbo out. We're gonna go to Lowe's and get some shit for the fucking oil feed, oil drain. And then I gotta get the fucking RTF paste so that we can use it as a gasket because I don't have any gaskets for the turbo. Um, still working on a wastecape, but yeah, engine bay's getting cleaned up pretty nice. I'm excited. All right, so we're back from Lowe's. Oh, we actually had to snap a Napa for the Permatex. Um, Lowe's didn't have exactly what I needed, but they had fittings that would help me get or oil into the turbo. Um, I just used the grinder, clean up the flanges, then I'm gonna use the Permatex, spread it around, and bolt it together so I can have a nice gasket for the turbo. So yeah, we're gonna go to that for our gasket in there. And in here, when we try to fit the turbo up, it was bumping into the block so we notched that out so that the turbo can actually sit in there so when we get it on doo -doo, it still touches a little bit but I can notch it out more and yeah that's what we're about to do all right so we got the turbo I'll fit it up with exhaust manifold got the block notched out down there so that the turbo actually fits in there probably gonna cut the video short right here um next video we're either going to go on to oil lights or we are going to do front mount intercooler and piping haven't decided which yet um we might also sneak that downpipe onto there but haven't decided yet leave a thumbs up if this was dope if not you can go fuck yourself because this was fun um subscribe if you're new to the channel what am i doing Subscribe if you're new to the channel because you know you want to watch more of this shit. And yeah.